taste of friendly action after their extended summers for their respective national teams. Granite Xhaka also starts, while Rob Holding gets the nod ahead of Callum Chambers to play at the back. As for Manchester City, they are without Leroy Sane due to a hamstring injury, but fellow summer signing Nolito does start. Pep Guardiola has been experimenting with the Sky Blues formation in pre-season, occasionally using three at the back. Arsenal old boy Gal Clichy start in Gothenburg. We're underway. Arsenal attacking the goal away. Occasion didn't hit the target. Just the one goal last campaign. That was against Bournemouth in the 2-0 home success. Back in December, Caballero takes a chance, but Arsenal just can take advantage. Alex oxlade Chamberlain, who scored some spectacular goals this summer already, failing to hit the target. It was half a chance, actually. Uh, keeper doesn't uh, deal with this at all well. Um, it's a greasy pitch, he tries to do a little bit of pass. You'd expect Alex uh, oxlade Chamberlain to do a little bit better. Ended lead because of his exertions in the European Championships. He'll be the first centre-back name on the team sheet against Liverpool, you feel, unless injury prevents it. It's easy for Pelicek as the cross came in from the right-hand side, but as Pep Guardiola looks on, it's going to take a little bit of time. Spectacular goal against Queen's Park Rangers. Will live long in the memory for Manchester City fans. This is Alexis Sanchez coming forward now for Arsenal. Decent-looking ball in, the glancing header is over the crossbar. That was a chance for Ramsey. Yeah, it's a good chance. Fantastic play by Alexis, you've got to say. He mixed the ball off of uh, Gail Clichy, who's just taken far too long. It's a fantastic ball into the box. He just puts it in the right area there. And Aaron Ramsey, as we've seen so many times last season and over the, the last few t few seasons, actually, just gets the ball in. He probably should have done better. I think he... In the early stages of this campaign, given the fact that Pem Mertesacker is out, of course, injured. He's been coming forward once again. Oxley chamberlain he's free! Oh, and he just curls wide. Well, he scored two brilliant goals this season. One similar type of position against Lens, but this one unfortunately just screwed wide. Yeah, excellent chance for, for the Ox there. He just went for the extravagant little chip there, didn't he? As opposed to maybe just getting his head head down and putting his uh, you know, shot through. But Guerrero's touch, silver through. And Guerrero's still going. Can he pull the trigger? Nolito wants it. Guerrero will go himself. Well, the block from Berlin sees the ball spin up into the arms of Pelicek, but it opened up for the Argentine. It certainly did, yeah, he just the ball broke loose, it just fell to Aguero, he just skipped past one, feints the shoot, gets it on his left peg, and as you say, then nice little block from Bellerin, just takes the pace off the ball and it lands nicely for, for Pelicek there. Kolarov underneath the stops, but Clichy helps out, it's back with Caballero. Alexis is quite happy to chase it down, this is Kolarov once again. Clichy down the line if required, it'll spin here towards Alexis and now it's the Oxlade Chamberlain and surely Arsenal will score here Well, it's Coquelin who sees his effort blocked, really should have been better. It's going to bounce out for a corner, Alexis has kept it in, has he? No. Well surely the Gunners should have been in front. Yeah, you'd have to say that Dan, yeah, they try and play at the back, they get caught, it falls to Coquelin, it takes a touch and really he's got to be He's got to be doing a little bit better there, Coquelin. Maybe he's still a little bit rusty. Knocking the ball around quite confidently. confidently. Now then, Arsenal looking to come forward with Ramsey over on the left-hand side. Can he get the shot in? It's parried well by Cavallero. Sliding challenge from Delft on Alexis, and he was caught there. Yeah, linesman doesn't like that one. It was a great strike spot by Ramsey, though, on, the, on his left foot then. Normally a lot stronger on his right side, but he takes it on his left and hits a lovely shot, which Cavalera does quite well to, to parry. But as I was saying, Dan, I think uh, Manchester City have, have got a lot of possession uh, in this game, the first 25 minutes, but uh, Arsenal seem to have that cutting edge. They've made three very... Discipline, not 100%. The thing is with Alexis here, you know, wherever the ball's on the pitch, you want to chase and, and, and Harry and try and get the ball back. This is Nolito on the left-hand side for Manchester City. He's got Aguero calling for it, David Silva as well. Nodded down back towards the Spaniard. Still Nolito. Pulls it towards Zabaleta and he will thrash it goalwards, but wide of the target. That was half a chance. This is yet, Jimmy, I'm going to say it's right side of that attacking three, or do you think he can still do a job centrally? I've seen him play centrally on a, on a couple of occasions. He's looked really, really. This is Aguero. Terrific ball in from the right-hand side, and it's Sergio Aguero once again. 
Arsenal's tormentor in chief over the course of the last couple of campaigns. And once more, it is the citizens number 10 that struck against Arsenal and it's Pep Guardiola's side that lead. Yeah, Arsenal just get caught. It's a nice little ball down the outside. Sterling gets hold of it, gets a little turn in. You have to say it's a lovely ball in. Arsenal just get caught there. Just ball watching on the, on the, on the cross. It's a lovely, comfortable finish. Aguero is never going to miss them ones. Six yards out. It's inside the penalty area. Oxley Chamberlain's forward it as well. It's a good play. What about the standard of the cross? It's flicked back towards Oxley Chamberlain. Bear in with the volley into the turf and it just rebounded up and over Alexis and City. Bear in able to keep the move alive for Arsenal and it's City coming forward once again. Gabriel is in the way, that's an important touch. And then Bayerin and Kokkanen look to knock it forward on the right-hand side. Now then, Ramsey looked in an offside position. Walcott certainly wasn't and this is Theo Walcott and there's all sorts of options here. One of them is Alex Awobi. It's still Awobi! Terrific hit into the corner. Hart got something on it but not enough and we're all level. Excellent goal, great finish by Awobi. Nice bit of play by um, by Theo Walcott on the on the right hand side there. Picks out Awobi. He takes his time, just gets it out of his feet. It's a lovely little uh, clinical finish here by Awobi. Excellent start to the second half by Arsenal. I was just about to say before Arsenal scored that uh, Dan that uh, Arsenal seemed to have started with a lot more urgency in the second half. I think um, Arsenal Wenger and Steve Bow would have had a little bit of a, a word at half time. But that's a lovely finish by Awobi. Trying to make space. Fernandinho will pick up the loose ball. It's a good interception. An easy one. This is Delph with a hit. The check makes it look easy. That's a decent hit. In a full position. Trying to use his pace. Alexis will stretch and will take it down and look to try and tee up Ramsey. There's options with Walcott and Awobi. Can't quite thread it through to either. Alexis goes down and this time it is a free kick. Fernando not too happy there. He's here, Alexis is standing over this one. Surely it's going to be the chilling to try and hit it. He does! Oh, he hits the crossbar! Ramsey stretches to try and get... And into the top corner, so unlucky. With the rebound as well, great strike. Comes back off the bar. I think it was Ramsey who tried to get the... He can, he can do both, he's got such quality in there. Very, very composed on the ball. There's a shot that's just flashed wide. John Hart may well have got something on that from Theo Walcott's effort. It's a lovely strike by Theo. Doesn't think twice when it comes to him. Santi involved, just lays it off. It's a first time strike by Theo. Must not come forward. With numbers and that's a terrific through ball and a better finish. This is what he can do, Theo Walcott. Cool as you like. And the Gunners, having been a goal down against Manchester City at half-time, lead by two goals to one through Theo Walcott. That's a fantastic goal, it really is. Great play by Theo Walcott. Uses his pace, spins the defender, plays a lovely little one-two, gets the return. Here we see it again. Just plays it. Doesn't admire his pass, gets on the end of it. It's a fantastic finish as well. Joe Hart got no chance there. Lovely cool finish. And as you say, Dan, exactly what Theo Walcott can do. That should give him a lot of confidence now. In the pre-season friendlies, or didn't do it, they were behind against Lance, of course, but only Drew. And Nacho makes the move. City looking to respond. They're 2-1 down here. Petr Cech stands firm under pressure after Sterling gets to the byline. Yeah, good, good goalkeeping by Petr Cech there. Very positive there, positive there from, um, from Sterling. That's what you want to see. Really attack. Chip forward for Navas. First touch is just about good enough. Flick forward to De Bruyne, looked offside, not given. Pull back here, the shot over the bar from Yaya Torre. He looks at the ground, but he really should have hit the target. Should have done better. Fantastic ball from, uh, from De Bruyne there. Didn't panic. Just picks out Yaya Torre. 
Lovely little pullback, great way to pass there. And you really do expect Yaya Torre, the player of his quality. Not quite sure about the destination of the likes of Wilfred Bonny and one or two others. Oh, that's a mistake, and this is Kazula trying to slide in, and it comes to Agbon, who's done it again! He is Johnny on the spot once more. Right place, right time. It's a happy knack, it's something you can't teach. But after some poor defensive work from Manchester City, Tuber is on hand to make it Arsenal 3, Manchester City 1. Yeah, well, Apcom, Apcom be absolutely delighted with that. Right place at the right time. Theo Walker does really well, as does Santi Cazorla. Quite rightly say there, and wasteful in possession. Give the ball away. Theo does actually really well. It's a lovely little tidy finish. Didn't panic, Akpom. It falls lovely to him. And there he is, on the spot. Right place, right. So Wenger just has to sit up and take notice, you feel. Because all the losers out to De Bruyne. Navas is on his way as well. And Nacho and Torre calling for it. He's towards the Anacho and the glancing header finds the corner and with three and a bit minutes remaining, it is 3-2. Well, Manchester City back in it. There's me saying game over. For once, Navas picks out a really, really good cross. As I said before, sometimes you're not quite sure what you're going to get with Navas. Gets into fantastic positions with his pace. De Bruyne does well. Feeds Navas and he's just thinking, what is he going to do? Is he going to go low? It's a lovely little pick out to be fair. It's a simple finish. Should make for an interesting last three minutes. And Man City pushing for this equaliser. Looking to get forward. No, Yatore. Oh, that's a delightful turn. And still going. It's a good stop and a better effort from Czech to just push it away. Brilliant from Yaya Torre and Pedacek. Fantastic strike and a great save. And uh, although it is a pre-season game, you know, so close to the season, Arsenal have done excellently well with the results. And winning becomes a habit, as we know. Bruyne in for Navas! So close to 3-3. Well, that's another good chance for Manchester City. Yaya Torre involved again. It falls to Navas. And you've got to say, you know, seven or eight yards out, he's got to be doing better. He's got to be hitting the final few moments of this match. That's great skill. Campbell involved in the ball, looking for Akpom once again. That is the full time whistle. Well, the Arsenal supporters cheer. And that there will be some fear for Arsene Wenger and the Gunners fans world over because of the injury to Gabriel right at the end of the second half. Joel Campbell came on late. Phil Walk. You know,